What's going on YouTube? Chiasno right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about how you can jailbreak iOS 14.7 with Cydia and tweaks running on the pre-8.12 devices. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to manage the data on your device like photos, music, and so on. Check your media library and of course back up your data selectively. Check it out in the link below, there is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. So as you're probably aware, back on 19th of July, Apple released iOS 14.7, which means that it's now available. However, the security content is not available yet. So it says in here iOS 14.7, details available soon. So for now, we have no idea what security issues it fixes and stuff like that, aside from the log that you get when you update. However, it does seem to be patching a lot of bugs and it does seem to contain security fixes. So you would be pleased to know that CheckRain, the jailbreak which cannot be patched, is indeed working on 14.7 by default. Now no, there hasn't been any new version released, it's still the 0.12.4 beta, but this one does support the iOS 14.7 by default, which is actually great. It did support the beta, so we're not surprised in that department, but in this video I'm going to show you if you're new to the channel, you never used CheckRain before, or you haven't used it in a while, how to use CheckRain. So I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of people in the comment section asking whether this is going to work for the A12, A13 and A14 devices, which are the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, the iPhone XS Max, and unfortunately no, CheckRain supports only the iPhone 5S all the way up to the iPhone 10. The iPhone 12, 11, and XS Max 10R are not supported. For that you would want Uncover or Torin. However, these are only compatible with 14.3 and lower for the moment, as you can see here. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get CheckRain and Jailbreak 14.7 with Twix and Cydia on pre a 12 devices. So all you need to do is to navigate to checkray.in. This is the official website, don't get CheckRain from other sources. You press download for macOS if you're running on a Mac, or you press see all downloads if you don't. For all downloads you have various Linux versions. Now unfortunately there is still no Windows version, and at this rate it's probably never going to happen. So what you need is to basically dual boot Linux on your computer. It's pretty easy to do. You can find tutorials online and once you do that you basically have a USB flash drive. You plug it in and your computer can boot into Linux and you can use CheckRain for Linux and then you're back to Windows after you finish, so it's not exactly very hard to do. In this case I use macOS, so I just have to press the macOS version and download it. Once you have it, it looks like this. So you can see here it says supported versions are 12.0 to 14.5.1. Yes, CheckRain hasn't been updated since 14.5.1, so it doesn't officially support 14.7 or even 14.6 for that matter. And it says in here, sorry, iPod Touch 7, which is the latest generation, is supported but iOS 14.7 is not. However, to get around that you go here to options and you press allow untested iOS. Now if your device is an iPhone 10, 8 or 8 plus, you would have to press skip A11 BPR check as well. You do that because otherwise your device would not be able to boot and on those devices you cannot have a passcode enabled while you try to jailbreak. It's unfortunate but this is a workaround. So now it says in here warning iOS 14.7 is untested, continue at your own risk. So I'm gonna press start and of course is going to put the device in recovery mode. For those of you who have used CheckRain before, you probably know this procedure by heart at this point, but for those of you who are new to the channel, this is what you need to do. Your device will reboot a couple of times and may show different things on the screen like text and stuff like that, you don't have to worry. Now once you reach this screen here, it's going to show your device or a device that looks like yours, in my case it's an iPod Touch latest version, and it's going to tell you how to put it in DFU mode, because CheckRain is based on Checkmate which is a USB exploit. So you need to be in DFU mode. Now all you have to do is to follow the instructions on the screen. Press start and then it says in here top button and volume down. Depending on what device you have, you may have to press the home button instead of volume down, but it's going to tell you in there what you need to do. Each device has a different guide. So as you can see, device entered DFU mode and as you can see at this point, we get a progress bar, it says booting and the device will show the Apple logo followed by the check rain logo and a lot of text. Do not touch anything, do not disconnect anything until the device fully boot. So it's going to take like a minute or so if it's the first time and it depends on what device you have, the older, the slower. So if it's an iPhone 10, it's probably going to boot faster. If it's an iPhone 6s or 6, it's probably 
going to boot slower. So as you can see here, it booted and the device is already booted. I can see the home screen, but yeah, it says in here all done. At this point, you can press done in here, disconnect the phone. And of course you should see the check rain application installed on your device. I'm going to switch to the device and show you how to continue. So at this point, the device booted, you can see in here, I'm going to show you that I'm running actually 14.7. So I'm going to go ahead and go to software updates in here. It says checking for updates. iOS 14.7 is up to date. All right. So I'm running the latest version. I'm going to go here to the check rain application. It's going to show up here. You're going to have to install Cydia. Now, again, if you did this before, if you use check rain before, you probably know this procedure by heart. This video is more intended for the newcomers in the community. So you press install in there. It's going to download Cydia and everything you need, and it's going to install it. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, this shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. And once you do that, you have Cydia on the screen. You open it and you do the updates because I'm pretty sure you will have updates. So as you can see, essential upgrade. I'm going to complete everything here and I'm going to say confirm and it's going to download everything that is needed and that's it. Return to Cydia. And now we have Cydia fully working. These are the repos and here are the installed packages for now. Going to expert mode. This is basically it. And let's try to install Falza because that's an accessible one right here. Press install, press confirm. And as you can see, everything seems to download and install fine. So you do get tweaks working. You do get Cydia working on the latest version of iOS. So yeah, people who do have check rain compatible devices are pretty lucky because they will always have a jailbreak as long as their iOS is supported by Apple. So yeah, Falza does work here. You can see everything is indeed fine. And that's basically it. That's the whole procedure. If you ever want to get rid of check rain, you want to restore back the stock and stuff like that. You open the check rain application after re breaking and you press restore system and restore again. This will un jailbreak your device. It will remove all the tweaks and Cydia and everything related to check rain. So that's very easy to do as well. Now, something you should keep in mind is that check rain is a semi tethered jailbreak, which means that you're going to have to do the procedure that I just showed you on the computer every single time you reboot your device. You will not have to install Cydia again, but in order to activate the jailbreak, you will have to redo the procedure on the computer. So don't delete the check rain application on your computer. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.